morning everyone so I just got out of work this morning and today I'm gonna set the vacuum pump the releaser um, I gotta get the tank clean I'll probably clean both tanks um, and basically just kind of get the last minute stuff ready because my plan is to start tapping next week um, it, the weather doesn't look great for sugar making but it's the middle of January now and we're generally gonna be making syrup any time so if I've got the time I might as well get ready and then get tapping so here we go So I think I've got everything loaded. I've got, oh crap. I don't think I had the tailgate up all the way. Or something tipped. I'm about to check. Crap. No, I think I'm okay. I think the releaser just tipped over a little bit and then settled back down, but I probably should have strapped that in. I'll just take it easy now. Um, but go over, get the pump set, get the releaser set. Um, I'll probably just test it just to make sure everything's working. And then uh, the other projects, but I'll get over here and get this done. Well, this isn't gonna be awesome. I didn't think there'd be as much snow here. So trying to wheel this thing down in here could be, could be awesome, we'll find out. fired up so now I'll set the releaser and then I'll fire the thing up with all the valves off but I just don't want to run it wide open right now if I don't need to I got over here and I realized I forgot the bottom part of the moisture trap, so I've got to go get that, but I've got to come back later anyways, but releaser's in, hooked up, um, and I've got my sensors for my gauge and everything hooked up. I, I can check the vacuum. I close the main here, and I'll go up and I'll just kick the pump on, see what that does. I won't be able to read anything, um, but I get the heat on in here now and uh, come back later and get the rest of it hooked up. All right, let's fire this thing up and see what it does. It's not really a big fan right now because it's a little cold. It's not terribly cold, but that's gonna mess with it a little bit just until it gets everything moving and then it'll kick up.
There, she's purring like a kitten now, making like 29 inches of vacuum, 28.8, so pretty happy with that. But everything's running, I'm gonna shut this thing down and then uh, on to the next project. So I do run heat tape coming out of the building on the drain just because it if I get down here on a cold morning or something after work I do need to be able to um, get that pumped out and there's not really a good way to put heat on it I mean I can but it's just a pain but a little bit that heat tape on there works pretty good but now I'm just getting my pump out lines on so I can hook up to the pump and this should be in good shape. Kind of in the way of the camera. So looking into this building, it's just too tall. I mean, if I stand out here, it's chest high to the top of that tank when I open this up and I just, I can't get in to get any leverage or reach or anything. So what I'm gonna do is build a platform that goes across. So I got some cinder blocks that were sitting here and I'm gonna build it up and then lay some pressure treated two by eights across it. And I think that'll give me enough to where when I step up on there, it's gonna be a hell of a step, but it'll make it easier to get in there and get some leverage on this thing. But we'll see how it goes. I didn't show a lot of building this building um, to go around this new tank over here to our big woods, but this thing is done now. I got my step up. Um, that's like the perfect height. Um, six center blocks. I kind of made some bases for them and then it's actually hooked onto the building too so that it won't tip off. But and then I've got two doors that go up and there's lights in here. Um, pipe comes in from the releaser, comes down, drains in. And then on the other side, you saw me earlier, I, uh, I put the knife valve on the bottom for a drain so that's all set so kind of the same concept i had before just with a new tank um up in here though now this is like the perfect height for cleaning this it's like waist level um i definitely do need to clean this tank i'll probably do it today um you can definitely tell that there was a project that went on in here because there's a lot of crud in the tank um but we're so close now i should probably just get it clean but um i got some lights in here they came out good um it's gonna be really nice in here now, as you saw in the last video, I've got some laterals that are pretty high in the air, like to the point that I'm not going to be able to tap them from standing on the ground. And any ladder I have right now isn't really set up for kind of what I need. So I'm going to make my own. Um, I just left the fab shop and uh, got some steel and I'm going to go home and weld that together and make a ladder that I can kind of just drag through the woods and use just really on that one section. Um, that'll make my life a lot easier and then not have to like cut apart a ladder. So see how it works. I'm gonna lay this ladder out inside on the basement floor. Um, it's gonna make it easier cause then it's flat and then I can just tack it and then I'll, I'll finish welding it outside. But I think if I get everything laid out, get it somewhat square-ish, then it'll make it a little bit easier. <laughs>
basic ladder is built now, but what I want is kind of like a triangle that will like kind of marry itself up against the tree. So I've got a couple of short pieces that I'm gonna kind of notch out, grind down a little bit, and then try and get them to fit. So like when it leans against a tree, it kind of holds it centered. That way I just don't have to worry about falling off this. And this thing's done it's definitely not perfect and i'm definitely not the world's best welder but um for what i need it for it's gonna work perfect i tuned up the edges a little bit um smoothed them out and then i'll put a coat of paint on it just so that it doesn't get all rusty and crappy but i mean i can get up pretty high now i mean three steps it'll, it'll stay in place that'll work Is it supposed to be going out the up. There. There. Now the moisture trap's hooked up. Is it vacuum on it? Oh, still vacuum on it. And some water in there. Nice and warm in here. Alright, let's go. Let's go. All right, I got all three kids in the truck now and we're headed home because it's time to get some dinner. I got everything accomplished today that I wanted to. I got that ladder built. I got um, the vacuum pump and the releaser set. I got the moisture trap in and I've got that step built. So really, I'm ready to start tapping. Really, I could start tomorrow if I wanted to, but instead, I think I'll go to work and work some overtime. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why they're happy I'm leaving, but that's okay. We'll see you guys in the next one. Uh -huh.